Welcome to Political Soapbox, your go-to platform for political discussions. In today's video, we'll talk about Hamas, a political party or a militant organization. Join us for an in-depth analysis, exploring the history, ideology, and geopolitical implications of this influential player in the Middle East. If we turn the pages of history, we will find that Israeli citizens came and settled near Jerusalem, the city of Palestine, and gradually they remained there. The dispute began when Israel declared itself an independent country. After 1947, the UN intervened in this matter and divided Palestine into a Jewish and an Arab state, but the dispute remains because the holy places of both countries are in the same place. There have been many fierce wars between Israel and Palestine in which Palestine has lost and lost its territory. The lack of clear division in the Gaza Strip has also become a cause of tension. Gaza Strip is the stronghold of many terrorist organizations to which Muslim countries secretly provide weapons and money. Hamas, often labeled as a terrorist organization, paradoxically identifies itself as a political party. It stands as one of the two major political entities in Palestine, a region divided into the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. The West Bank is governed by the Palestinian Liberation Organization, PLO, specifically the Fatah Party. In contrast, Hamas exercises control over the Gaza Strip. Ideologically and politically motivated, Hamas rules over a population exceeding 2 million Palestinians, portraying itself as the face of the Palestinian movement. Established in 1967 by Sheikh Ahmed Yassin, a Palestinian scholar and cleric, in the aftermath of the Six-Day War, Hamas emerged as a response to Israeli occupation. The year 1987 marked the first Intifada, a series of protests and attacks, during which Hamas published its charter, advocating for the destruction of Israel and the establishment of an Islamic society in historic Palestine. Over the years, Hamas has engaged in various forms of attacks, including suicide bombings, rocket attacks, and small arms assaults, often targeting civilians. Initially designated a terrorist group by the international community, Hamas has attempted to transform into a political entity, maintaining a military wing to carry out attacks against Israel. Hamas employs a top-down governance structure, consisting of the political bureau, the Shura Council, and the Hamas government. The Political Bureau, a 15-member body operating in exile, leads the organization, with the Shura Council responsible for electing its members and overseeing welfare programs. The Hamas government implements policies dictated by the Shura Council, although its authority is often viewed as puppet-like. The face of Hamas is represented by Ishmael Haniye, the designated chairman, operating from Qatar's capital, Doha. Qatar and Turkey are notable supporters of Hamas, providing financial aid and hosting its leaders. Iran, however, stands as the primary supporter, supplying funds, weapons, and military training. Despite American sanctions impacting funding, the relationship between Iran and Hamas persists. While Hamas has maintained its popularity through social services and resistance against Israel, recent events, such as an all-out military operation against Israel, raise questions about the sustainability of its rule. Public sentiment in Palestine is also diverse, with a poll revealing a significant percentage expressing distrust in Hamas's governance. We hope you gain valuable insights from this video. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest debates. Stay tuned for more informative content.